Hello. In this video I'll present a brief overview of the Rail Sweep tool which is included with the CarveRight 3D Pattern Modeling Suite. The Rail Sweep tool allows you to easily create certain types of decorative shapes that would be difficult if not impossible to create with the standard 3D tool set. Decorative columns, spindles, vases, bottles, lamp posts, and so on are just a few examples. A rail sweep is a shape created by drawing three open vectors. Two of the vectors will be the rails and one vector is the cross section that will be swept between the two rails. These vectors must be open lines, not closed shapes, otherwise the rail sweep won't work. I've started a new project in Designer and I'm going to turn on my snap to grid view with the spacing of a quarter of an inch and I want to view the grid. I'm just going to select the connected line tool and draw a contour shape just using straight lines to begin with. Okay, there's our contour shape. Let me zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to move this over closer to the middle. And I'm going to mirror this. Right click and select mirror horizontally. So what I've got here are two open vectors. They are not connected. That's what's called an open vector. And these will serve as my rails. I'm going to select both of them by holding the control key down. And I'm going to select the rail sweep tool. And you see here this window uh, for drawing the cross section shape is identical to uh, some of the other 3D tool features. And I'm going to draw a, uh, an arc and I'm going to go ahead and click OK and you'll see that the shape is created using my two rails and it's uh, sweeping that shape that I drew between the two rails. But you see this isn't exactly what the desired shape should be. So I'm going to double click on this shape and I'm going to go back into my settings here and you see we've got a couple options. One is reverse rail. Let me just uncheck this just so you can see what happens. Click OK and we've got a pretty odd looking shape and that certainly is not what we wanted. Double click on this shape again. Click on the reverse rail. This is the feature that I wanted to show you. The scale Z feature. Selecting this option will smoothly scale the Z height according to the spacing between the rails. The closer the spacing, the lower the Z height is scaled. This option actually is usually going to yield the desired shape in most cases. So I've set my uh, rails back to where they were, reverse rail, and scale the Z and click OK. Now we've got uh, the shape that I was really after here. And you can see that as the rails become closer together here at the neck, at the uh, top of the neck and at the uh, uh, top of the sweep, these shapes are scaled down. They're scaled according to the distance between these two rails. Okay, let me make some changes to this particular shape. And I'll just zoom in here a little bit. And I'm going to add some nodes to this shape. And I'm also going to change the form of some of these. So let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Let me get rid of the numeric display and I'm going to change this to an arc. 
and let me unmirror this just a second. And I think I'll change this to a spline. Just bring that out. And I'll do that uh, here as well. I'll change this to a spline. And let's see what else we've got here. Well, let's just move this over. And let's change this to a spline as well. And let's make this a, uh, excuse me, make this to a arc. And we'll make this into an arc as well. And now I'll mirror this horizontally. And we'll go into, after we select both of these, you know, that's a little too skinny there. I'm going to move this over just a bit. Okay. And select both of these by holding control. Select the uh, Rail Sweep tool. And let's draw another arc. And we'll make this one a little deeper this time. And I'll scale the Z because I do want it to scale the Z height as these become closer together. Click OK. And we'll zoom out so we can see the entire figure. So you can see we can make interesting shapes with the uh, Rail Sweep tool. This, this type of shape would be extremely difficult to make uh, using any of the other 3D tools other than this uh, new Rail Sweep addition to the pattern modeling suite. This almost looks like a chess piece and I didn't really plan that. Let me just show you a couple other things that I've done just before I started this video. Just give you a, an idea. Both of these share the same vectors but the only difference is is that I used a uh, an arc on this particular shape and on this one, I used, let me turn this off so you can see a little more clearly. Okay. I really just used a, uh, an angular flat topped shape here to create this variation. Now the contours on these two shapes are identical. The only way they differ is the cross section shape. I created. So, you know, something like this could uh, be a candle holder or maybe a decorative spindle for a uh, fireplace uh, mantle or uh, shelving or what have you. The possibilities are just endless on these types of shapes. So, it gives you the effect of almost a lathe turned shape. Okay, I'm going to show you another couple quick examples. I think you get the idea. It's a pretty simple way to make interesting shapes. This particular project I just created a uh, carve region. I made this carve region uh, rather deep, about the same thickness as the board. So if you want to make a really thick board and a, a high profile or a high uh, cross section you can do that. Of course the uh, carve right would be limited in how uh, thick it can cut a board, but if you have the STL importer you can uh, convert your shapes to uh, an STL and um, through the pattern editor if you own the STL importer and then slice those so that the uh, item could be carved in sections and glued together. So this is just a uh, sort of a vase looking shape that I drew and I'm going to mirror this horizontally select both of them, go into the Rail Sweep tool, and I'll draw a rather high arc here. 
and I do want to scale the Z, of course. Click OK. And let me just turn off the grid line so you can see this a little better. You can see we've got a, a nice uh, vase shape. So this could be incorporated into uh, your carvings just for decorative uh, relief carvings as part of a composition, maybe have some flowers coming out of it, what have you. And I'm going to wrap this up with just one more example. Uh, this was sent to me by um, the folks at CarveRite. I did not create this one, but just show you the possibilities. They created a uh, cannon using the, uh, the sweep function. And I'll zoom in here and you can see that just like any other shape that you create in the CarveRite software, you can lay other patterns on top of one another. You see this one is a coat of arms. It's an additive merge. So it lays and follows the contours of the cannon. By the way, this board is 4 feet long, 14 inches wide, and 5 inches thick. Obviously this would be a little large for the carve right to carve out in uh, just one piece, so this could be this could be converted into an STL if you own the STL uh, importer and the pattern editor. You could save this pattern out as a uh, STL, sliced up and glued together, or carve it on a large format CNC machine. Okay, well that wraps up the rail sweep tool and uh, I hope you'll enjoy it.